Hey, God bless you today. I just get a sense that God is speaking today and God is stirring today. And I get a sense God is asking the question, how will you spend your prayer life today? How will you spend your prayer life today that each one has to give an account of the power, the authority, the um, far-reaching hand of ability that God has given us through the power of prayer. And when we think about it, he says that the effectual fervent prayers are the righteous avail of much. I get a sense that God is saying that to be mindful, to be sensitive to his spirit and stay with the river. Stay with the river of his presence today that God want to use us. And if we stay with the river, if we stay with the presence of the Lord today, we can be sensitive to the needs of others. God bless you, Don. We can be sensitive to the needs of others. God want us to be able as a church, as a body of believers, to be so tapped into his spirit that we are sensitive to the heart cries of others. That we are sensitive that when he sends a 911 into our midst, when he sends a SOS into our midst, that we can go to prayer, that we can take the ability that he's given us through the power of prayer, and we can reach all around the world. We can take that ability that he's given us through the power of prayer. We can reach right there in our local congregation. We can reach right there in our city. We never know who's going through what in the midst. And as a church, God has called us to be effective. He's called us not to, he's called us not to play church, but be the church mean that we're going to be active agents for change, change in the lives of people, not just operating just to get something done, not just coming into his presence to come into his presence, but to come and be aware, to be intentional, to listen out for those signals that we can operate and we can be the light of the world. We can be those change agents. We can be those that will pray for the sick and the sick shall be made whole. We can be those that will cast out devils in the name of Jesus. That we can be effective in the lives of people. We never know who's in the house that's dealing with the uh, suicidal thoughts or dealing with addictions or what have you. But God said, I want you to be so sensitive and not be stuck in a mode of operation. I want you to be sensitive to my voice. Is it not my church? Meaning that God said, I want to be the head of my church in this hour. I want the church to stay in the river, flow with the river of my spirit. Every river has an assignment. Every river of God is intentional. And it's when we we stay in the river of God that we can get things done, that God will let us know his mind and his heart and his thoughts for a situation. But if we're going to use the hand of flesh, that is just retardation in a sense because it retards the move and the hand of God and the flesh can accomplish nothing but death. But we bless our God today for his thoughts. So we just want to give you a shout out and God bless you, Don. We're praying for you. We pray God's protection for you and your family. We pray that he will meet every need. We pray that he will rescue you from every uh, form of opposition from the enemy. We pray that your joy be full. We pray that your cup will run over. We pray that the purposes of God will unfold in your life. We pray that you be Holy Spirit directed. We pray that your joy come to full surface prayer. God, we just pray that God will use you for his glory, and we pray that whatever you need at this hour, that God would grant it. I just believe that it's a supernatural setup, that God knew that you would pop on the line. So God bless you, love you, and if possible, hope to see you at the Glory Zone on December the 2nd from 4 to 7 at... Uh, 9150 Winton Road is at the Springfield Township Center. But God bless you. Praying for you. Love you. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.